Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how to make the first rebirth button for our speed simulator. Now, in the future we're going to make it so you can have a menu where you can have multiple rebirths at once. But for this video here we're just going to make a single rebirth button and then we'll expand on this in the future. So let's get straight into it. So to get started we're going to need to create a remote event for our rebirth. And if you remember correctly, under our event script is where we've got our remote events. So let's duplicate our add points remote event and rename it to rebirth. Okay, now what we need to do is go under server script service into our leader stats and we need to make a new leader stat. We've got points, but we're now going to need rebirths. So let's copy these three lines of code, drop down a couple of lines and paste them back in and rename this from points to rebirths. I'm then going to copy this local rebirths here, this rebirths name, this identifier, copy that and uh, replace it with these other points here. Now once again this will be an integer value, but rather than calling this points we're going to call this rebirths. Now let's add this to our data store, so let's open up our data source script. Now where we've got our local save value 1, we're going to copy that and add a save value 2. We're then going to copy this save value 1 dot value, drop it down, add 2 get saved to and local values to save where we got save value one dot value we're going to put a comma and we want to add save value two dot value and that looks like everything oh sorry and down here as well local save items we also need player dot leader stats dot rebirths dot value like so so that should now save our rebirths as well okay next we need to open our event script and add this rebirth event in here. So let's copy this script.addPoints.onServer event function, or um, technically it's a method. Let's drop down, paste it in, and now we're, rather than add points, we're going to uh, type rebirth because that is the name of our rebirth remote event. Now uh, in the in here, rather than player.leaderstats.points.value, we want a dot uh, rebirths.value to increment by one. And now I'm going to copy that line of code, drop down, and what we want to do is when we rebirth, we of course want to set our points to zero. So we're going to say dot points dot value equals zero. Now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to um, cut this line by typing Control X or Command X if you're on Mac, and put it above the rebirths dot value plus equals one, because this stops us from if for whatever reason. Um, you manage to click faster than the time these two lines execute we're going to rebirth multiple times before the points of value equals zero now theoretically that should be almost impossible which shouldn't it should be very very hard but you never know so just to play it safe we're going to put the points dot value equal to zero before we increment their rebirths okay now that we've uh, done that we can close our event script and now under starter GUI we need to add in a um, screen GUI now I'm going to rename this screen GUI to uh, sorry right click rename I'm going to rename this to main uh, screen because this will have most of our screen GUI on it now we, if you don't really know a lot about GUI design or anything like that in uh, Roblox, we have done a little small series on that, which you can find in the description, where we kind of cover the very basics that you need to know. But if if not, then don't worry. If you don't want to watch that, you can kind of follow along here. But I'm not going to explain it in lots of detail because we have already gone through this before. Now, under this main screen, uh, screen GUI, we're going to add in a button. and uh, We want a text button which I'm going to rename to Rebirth. Uh, I'll just call it Rebirth for now. Now, you may not want this a text button. You can have this an image button if you want, but I'm going to keep it as text for now. I'm going to make it a light blue color because who doesn't like a light blue? I'm going to scale the text and make the text white. And under here, I'm going to add a text um, no, I'm not sorry. I'm going to add in a uh, add a UI corner is what I'm going to add. I'm going to add a UI corner of radius 0 0.10, maybe 0 0.30. Let's call it 0 0.250, 0 0.20, and uh, just to kind of give it a rounded edge. And next, under the rebirth button, I'm going to make the text stroke transparency 0 and maybe change the color of that to a dark blue. Okay, next, I'm going to change this text to say rebirth. And 
it doesn't really you don't need to change the text because we'll change it in a script anyway it's just to make it look a bit nicer like kind of when we're designing it next i'm going to play around with the size for the size i think i'm going to go for 0 0.2250 uh, 0 0.1250, see how that turns out, okay that's a bit big, uh, maybe scale that down a bit, whack it down, kind of, let's just put it on the side of the screen for now, it doesn't really matter, kind of play around with the size, so I'm going to go for 0 0.131, 0, 0 0.0870, that's what I'm going to go for, next, uh, the position, I'm going to kind of put it on this green line in the middle of the screen, just so it's sort of centre, Next, we need to add two local scripts into here. So let's add our first local script. Now, in this local script, we are going to fire the rebirth uh, server. So I'm, we can call this rebirth event, if you'd like, because in this script, we're going to fire the rebirth event. So let's start by getting a player variable. So local player equals game.players.local player. So this will, get, uh, this will create a new variable for identifier uh, PLR, it's short for player which will be equal to the game's player, the player that's playing the game, because it's a local script, so we can do that. Next, we need to create um, a mouse button one click event, which will uh, basically fire the event, the, the rebirth event. So let's do that. So script.parent, which is the rebirth uh, button. Sorry, I don't want to add this rebirth event to the UI corner. I want to add it to the button. There we are. So script.parent, which is the rebirth button, dot mouse button one click, colon connect function, and then we can drop down. Now we're going to create an if statement with a series of calculations, very basic calculations. Uh, but what these calculations will do is decide whether or not the player should have enough points to rebirth. So just follow along here. These are they're somewhat arbitrary numbers, but just follow along. So if, and now we want two brackets because the order of operations here, we want to do these calculations in a certain way. So let's open up two brackets, uh, player.leaderstats, dot points, uh, not dot points, sorry, dot rebirths, dot rebirths, dot value. So if player.leaderstats, dot rebirths, dot value times 1000, because what we want to do is say, say the player's got one, re one rebirth, we want the next rebirth to be multiplied by a thousand points. So we're looking at a thousand points. And then outside of this bracket, we want to add a thousand. So if they've got one rebirth, they'll need 2000 points to rebirth. If they've got zero, they'll need 1000 and so on. So we're multiplying it by a thousand to get the number of base points we need, plusing a thousand to make sure that basically if there's, if they have zero rebirths, they need at least a thousand points to rebirth. And then for a bit of fun, I'm going to multiply this by 1.15 just to make it a bit more um, random, I suppose, a bit more different. So the, the numbers look like they're generated randomly and not just round numbers. I don't know. And then we're going to say if that is less than or equal to player stats. Sorry, not less than and plus, less than or equal to player.leaderstats dot points dot value. Then we're going to say workspace dot events dot rebirth colon fire server. Okay, and now we're going to create another script. So uh, let's say, in fact, actually, we'll do this in the same script. We can do all of this in one script. Why not? So now what we need to do is I'm going to drop down a few lines just so we can separate this. We need to say while wait do. So this means that every sort of, I'm not even going to do that, I'm going to do while wait point 0.1. So every tenth of a second we're going to loop through whatever code is here. So in here we need to say if player.leaderstats.rebirths.value times 1000. Basically this if statement up here. Uh, so times 1000 and outside the bracket plus 1000 times 1.15, make sure that this calculation here is the exact same as the one up here. Uh, if that and that and that is less than or equal to player.leaderstats dot points dot value, then, so we've got this exact same if statement as up here. Uh, rather than doing workspace events, firing the uh, rebirths 
event, sorry, we may we want to change the text. So we'll say um, up here local text or txt equals script dot parent dot text. So now what we can do is change the text of the rebirth button from this txt variable. So if we were to now say in here txt dot text equals um, no sorry or just txt equals hello that will set oops, there we are um, this rather than saying rebirth here it will say hello so we can set it using txt so what we want to say is txt equals click to rebirth because if they have um, enough points or whatever we can uh, rebirth else we need to say txt equals rebirth in and a space and then the amount of uh, points until they can rebirth so let's do dot dot and now this uh, calculation up here again so copy that calculation and whack it in there so rebirth in player dot leader stats dot rebirth stop value times 1000 plus a thousand times 1.15 and then once we've done this calculation we need to minus the player dot leader stats dot points dot value because we want to minus however many points they already have so that is quite a lot of calculation there it's, it's very simple calculations but it looks a bit confusing with all the brackets i agree but your code should look something like this now before we can test this there's one more thing we need to do we need to go into our event script and when we're doing player dot leader stats dot points dot value plus equals one we want to also add the amount that um, the amount of rebirths they have so we're getting kind of like a multiplier so one plus player dot leader stats dot rebirths dot value so say we've now got five rebirths we're going to get six points per click so we've got x rebirths we're going to get x plus one points per clicks per click so now we should be able to actually test this so if we hit test and then play we should load in with zero rebirths let's get some points you'll see we can't uh, our rebirth buttons not actually changing so there might be something wrong there so let's have a little look because our rebirth buttons not changing there's probably something wrong with our script um, everything looks fine there I think it's our text actually so if we say low rather than saying text here let's say local button equals script dot parent and then we'll say button dot text rather than txt because I think what we're doing is when we do txt we're making a reference of the text we're not changing the actual text just a reference of it whereas if we do button dot text we're directly changing the text component so there we are that now works so let's get our points up I'm not sure if it's saving I don't think our savings working now but we'll have a little look so let's walk for a bit now let's stop see if our savings working because it looks like that's stopped working that might just be because we're in roblox studio yes yeah, so our points aren't now saving so let me go to uh data store and have a look what's going on ah because we've set our save value to to player.leadstats.points and not rebirths let me make sure i've not made that mistake anywhere else uh there we go that should now work so if i now hit play we'll probably start from zero again but now next time we leave it should all save let's walk around for a bit this okay so we've got six points let's leave rejoin those six points should still save in which case we know we're in the good yep there we are now what i'm going to do is cheat a bit and give myself a load of points because why not uh points i'm gonna make that maybe uh, 994 so now i've got loads of points there we are, so rebirth in 150 because of our little multiplier as well. So let's get 150 points. Let's collect these orbs. We're nearly there. 35. There we are, I reckon. One more orb, we're there. Right, three, two, one. And now we can actually rebirth. Now if we rebirth, you'll see we go really slow again. And everything looks good. That appears to be it. And now we're getting plus two points per step. Now if I stop and rejoin, my points should have reset, my points should have saved, my rebirth should have saved, and I should still be getting plus two per step. So let's give it a minute, and there we are. We are still getting plus two, our rebirths have resaved, and we see we need more points now to rebirth. And if we click it when we can't uh, rebirth, it's not working. So there we go, that's perfect. It all works just how we want it to. So 
I hope you found this video helpful everybody. In the next video I think we're going to go over a gem system. So whenever you rebirth you can get you get some gems or diamonds or something which you can then spend on special upgrades. So I think next episode we'll go over gems and then we'll see how we're doing and we'll go from there. So thanks for watching everybody. I hope you found this video helpful. I'll see you in the next one and goodbye.